Are you looking for the next craft beer to drink? Well, maybe Cane Break by Parish Brewing is the one for you. Welcome back everybody. So we are gonna try Cane Break from Parish Brewing. This was bottled on 71717. This is one from Keith. Okay. I wanted to do the IPA one, but I forgot what the name of it was. Cause he sent that uh, piece of paper with the name, you remember that? You can't read a label? No, I thought he said it wasn't the same as it wasn't pronounced the same. Sorry, our little something. dog is chasing her tail <clears throat> behind the camera, yeah. so if you can hear that. <laughs> so this is a pale wheat ale and 5% ABV and not sure about the IBUs. Untapped does not have them. Well, this might be delicious. Sorry, 4.9% ABV. Ruthie, quit. Thanks. Louisiana Wheat Ale. All right, let's sniff it. Let's get going. Oh. This one looks good. White head, small bubbles, a quarter of a finger, lots of bubbles coming up, uh, straw yellow, lots of bubbles coming up. Smell <clears throat> that. Smell? Yeah, I smelled it first. I forgot you're going to look at it, but... Wow. Wheat. Isn't that a strong, potent smell? It's like wheat with some hops. Yeah. But strong. I'm guessing that's what a pale wheat ale is. It's a wheat with Ruby, kind Ruby, of Ruby, seriously stop. More hops. What is that? Like a per, like I want to say perfume, maybe like a uh floral. Okay. Floral yeah. smell yeah. like weedy floral. Okay. It kind of smells good, but it's kind of a. It kind of smells like a. I almost want. I want to. Yeah. It smells like oh my grandma. That's what I was gonna like, say. It's like you never smelled my grandma. No, that's but what my grandma. I, there's more than one grandma in the world. <laughs> would you ever smell my grandma? This is my grandma. You smell. Yeah, like. but it's like a wheat floral smell. It's kind of a pretty smell. Yeah. After I smell, like at first it kind of was strong, but now that it's sitting here for a second, I wonder what it smells like out of the bottle. Yeah. And see, it doesn't smell like that at all out of the bottle. Well, that's interesting. Can we drink it now? Yeah. All right, <clears throat> let's try that. I like that. It's it tastes like nothing. No, it almost, it tastes almost exactly how it smells. Mm -hmm. I like kind the floral. Kind of floral. Real light. Going off on a tangent, maybe your viewers could help me find some of them Queen's floral hops that I've been looking <laughs> no, for. Queen, Queen B? Queen? Queen. I thought they were like Queen hops. Just Queen, queen something. Queen something. I've been looking for those. I really want some of those. If someone could hook me up with those, I'd be great. But that's what this is. It's floral. It's a floral. Yeah. And I like that. Yeah, it's very, very clean, very light. Lager almost. This is yeah. like a lager of the lakes with some floral. Which is delicious. Black the Lakes. This is very refreshing. And I would really like to drink this when it was warm out. You know? I'm almost getting to be like a beer snob. Where I want <laughs> stouts in the winter. And I want fruity in the summer. That's not true. If you gave me summer shandy, I should go upstairs and just have one. Yeah. But I'm just saying, this is good. Yeah, I, I really like this. I would go with a four out of five. I go four and a half. <clears throat> this is this is really good, and it's out of Alabama. Yep. Of Alabama. course it is. Like I'm not driving down there. Yeah, it's it it's a. I liked it. Smells exactly like it tastes. It makes me burp a lot though. Some wheat floral in both. Very clean taste goes away quick mm -hmm. doesn't leave anything it is carved yeah i'd go for it's weird because it people are gonna hate me for saying this but i said lager likes but it's almost like drinking like a miller light like no. it's it's light it, it's light but it no. doesn't taste like miller light i it's, think it's very light it's very crisp it's very clean 
and it doesn't make you feel like you're drinking a beer. It's not heavy, yeah. dark, thick, stinky. So there have been 18,000 ratings for an average of 3.56. It's good. It's gone. Four friends have rated this for an average of 3.94. Who had this besides probably Keith? <clears throat> Keith on there? Keith. Keith. Yep. What's Keith, Keith say? Keith. Well, he had how, all four of them. What did he say? Ryan. What's he say? Nothing. Nope. He just drinks it. Oh, I like it. Um, very well done. And I think I would total. I mean, I would drink it again. I don't say I would think. I would think that I would drink it again. It was very good. It's about time you introduced me to some something better than what I've been drinking. All them stouts. <sighs> Them thick winter nasty fall beers. I don't think. But I need to get one of those coconut ones. That's a totally different show. But um, this is good. And if there's a way for you guys to drink this, and I wouldn't mind some of those showing up in my stocking. Okay. So crisp and smooth. Yep. Okay, ready? Sugar cane. With notes of honey, spice, and citrus on the finish. Okay. I think that's like opposite. I would say that's like opposite of floral. But it tastes floral. It, yeah. And it's good. And mine's gone. Sweetened with sugar cane syrup. I don't, I wouldn't say sweet. Unless, I wish I had another one. You do. I do? Yep. Oh, we're going to have to wrap this up. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I would say the opposite. I don't get citrus out of this. This is... I like it. Yeah. No, I think it's floral. It's yeah. like a floral lager. This tastes just like a lager of the lakes with some floral notes. Yeah. Seriously, this is like what it tastes like, and right. I like it. It's yep. crisp and clean and light. Cool. And it's a winner in my book. So thank, thank you, you to Keith for sending this. And until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. Happy brewing. Thank you for watching this video. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. Leave me a comment down below to tell me what you thought about this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and share. And hit that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. You can check out these videos over here. Also head over to 31stbrewing.com for everything beer and home brewing related.